Hey guys, listener, and welcome to another Fortnite video here on the channel. Much like the other looting guide showcase I did for the Corny Complex, we are going to be going to Believer Beach, which is uh, Sweaty Sands' new location. Again, it is question marks because I have not dropped here in a regular match. I'm in uh, Battle Lab right now just to simply show you guys the best um, loot that can possibly spawn here, and we're going to go from there. So if you guys have been enjoying the Fortnite content on the channel, consider smashing that like button and showing your support or subscribing if you are new. And if you want to help me additionally, use my credit code, the real option if you plan on getting the battle pass, extra tiers, or anything in the current item shop, as well as, you know, just anything Fortnite in general. And let's get right into this. So, first things first, I'm noticing a lot of different, you know, satellite stations on top of the different mobile homes that are here. There's still some chests here, as you guys can see. There is now an upgrade bench over here as well. So upgrade benches have returned. If you haven't seen my other looting guide uh, on the other place, uh, upgrade benches and vending machines have both returned. Um, the houses pretty much have the same loot as usual, so I'm not going to completely run through all of them uh, that we that are you know the old houses. There's some cool decorations about aliens and stuff around, which is pretty adorable, I have to say. Um, there's a what is this over here? I'm counting this as part of the location, so what the heck is this? Is this one of the... Oh, isn't this the, the uh, phone tower place that you have to do the one challenge at? No, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's just a listening thing for aliens. Um, as you guys can see, the barriers have been taken down from uh, the primal season. Uh, there's a telephone here, which is part of one of the challenges, which I will be making a separate guide for later. I'm not going to answer that phone right now. Um... As you can see, there is uh, a nice banner for aliens. Also, the mothership is terrifying. I don't know if you guys, like, have looked up at all, but it's terrifying. And you guys all know all these buildings have the same loot as always. Nothing much has changed there. There are some uh, bounce pads around. There is a llama running away from me. I haven't seen that yet. That looks terrifying. And he's dropping some loot, too. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. I'm going to ignore him. Um, I'm noticing there's a lot of more, like, rocks and debris around here. Uh, the bounce pads, you can literally bounce around the entire area, which I think is a pretty cool, uh, addition to this place. Really nice. There's an NPC here. Who is, uh, oh, I don't have mats. Who is, uh, over here? Someone's over here. Here, wait, I need some mats. Okay, there we go. Mats acquired. Who's up here? Oh, it's, um, is that Manic? Oh no, it's Sunny. Hey Sunny, how you doing? I'll just collect her while I'm here. I just got gameplay of Sunny if you guys want to check that out. I see there's some spotlights here. Oh yeah, it does make sense she'd be here because she's the alien enthusiast. Um, if you guys haven't heard her theme song, it's hilariously great. Oh, there's like a bounce, like a, uh, what would you call that? Diving board onto the, the trampolines. There's like, they, they made like instead of a sand castle, they made like a uh, design for the alien glyphs. In the sand, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this place is pretty much 110% now, like, aliens forever, yay. Um, I see they're also over even at the gas station here. They're installing, like, telescopes and these, like, radio signals to make contact. Because right now, from what it seems, vending machine here as well. Uh, vending machines have come back as well for those who don't know. This one's offering healing, which is pretty nice. Uh, for those who don't know... The current thing is, like, the aliens are literally invading and attacking us. Whereas, um, this place seems to be, like, welcoming them. It's pretty much going for the vibe of Independence Day. If you guys haven't seen that movie, uh, definitely recommend checking it out. But it pretty much, that's what the vibe is. That the mothership's just waiting to blast us all to pieces. Whereas you got the people that are like, yes, welcome them with open arms. They will bring us technological advances and all kinds of good things. Whereas the aliens just want to kill you. It's it's typical alien kind of good versus bad thing with 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 uh, extraterrestrials. Um, See, so yeah, there's that. Now I'm trying to see if there's anything else. There's some slurp barrels around. I noticing that this place hasn't had slurp barrels before. I keep thinking this is like the reboot van light. Like like, can I even break these? Okay, you can break them if you want to. Good to know. Um, but yeah, really cool. I like that even though, like, Sweaty Sands hasn't, you know, gone away, they changed its name, and similar to how, like, Colossal Coliseum became Colossal Crops and whatnot, it's nice that this is a thing. And also, this entire meta has changed, too, because as you can see, there's all these, um, bounce pads around the map that you literally can just boost yourself around, and 
uh, obviously that that's a huge game changer for this area. And I think there is another ring machine right here. Yeah, this one is for guns. As you can see, giving assault rifles, which is really cool. So yeah, upgrade benches are back, um, vending machines are back. There is still some primal stuff left I'm seeing over there. The towers are gone, but there's some still some of the buildings from the primal era. Which is cool and interesting, and yeah, the fishing spots are also here as well. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but yeah, fishing is still a thing, and whatnot. But, I think that is all for me to show with this location. I can't really, um, I can't really think of anything else that is here. Pretty much, this is, this is the area. The chest loot and whatnot is pretty much the same inside the buildings, and there's added decorations and, and fun around this area. Basically, everyone's just throwing a party here. Even though I'm pretty sure the aliens are here to, you know, attack and destroy us. But, it's whatever. If you guys did enjoy this looting location, guy, definitely smash that like button, show your support, because you're subscribing if you are new. And as always, if you want to help support me on the channel, use my credit code, the Real Ultra Unit, if you plan on getting the Battle Pass extra tiers or anything in the current or future item shops. It really wouldn't mean the world to me if you support me. If you're not supporting me, please consider supporting at least somebody, because it doesn't hurt and only benefits the people. So, yeah, you know, consider using my code or anyone else's. And that's going to do it. Um, definitely look out for other location guides. I plan on doing one on the center of the map. And also, um, I think this is a new location as well. Pretty much all the new locations I plan on making video guides on today as well. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Goodbye.